Oh, oh. What's going on, guys? I try with too hard here, and this game is Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Uh, it came out 2007, I want to say. Um, but I played so much of this game, especially the first game, uh, Rainbow Six Vegas 1. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that game anymore, and get out of here, Jan, and, uh, what's your, what's your name? Uh, but yeah, this game, or the first game, is what got me into online multiplayer games for the console, uh, and I guess you would say PC, although I didn't start playing PC until well after, um, uh, what's it called? Well, after I was on <coughs> the console, so yeah, this is what brought me to where I am today. I, I, I guess you say. Um, now, this game I really, really enjoyed. Uh, I didn't find too much wrong with it, other than maybe a couple of graphical errors, but nothing too major or anything like that. Uh, I, I think the main mechanics worked really well. Uh, now, maybe the controls could be improved a little bit, uh, but basically it was overall a very, very well-made game. It's well-balanced, probably one of the most balanced games I have ever played, um, except for maybe the shotguns. Shotguns uh, were kind of kind of annoying, but uh, the game you could, um, host, if you were the host, you could pick what type of... Um, uh, weapons were, would be allowed. You could say no shotguns, no snipers, or anything like that. So if you didn't like a certain gun, uh, you could go be a host, and you could get rid of that. Uh, and if you don't know, uh, this is terrorist hunt mode, where pretty much it's kind of... I don't know. It's what it sounds like, terrorist hunt. You go into a map from multiplayer, and they put bots on... And you can either do it by yourself or, um, whoa, there's a guy, oh, wow, god dang it, there would be a guy camping there. You know what, I, I'm not feeling that AK. Uh, let's use a shotgun. 500 tech. Oh, man, this gun, this is the one gun that might be overpowered. Uh, and you'll see why. It is a sniping shotgun, let's just say that. Uh. Pretty much you could hit people from any distance. And the reason why I am not doing so well is because this is probably the first time for me playing this game in about a year. Uh, I played it after Modern Warfare 2 got boring for me and nothing else was good. I went back and played this a little bit. I used to be uh, in game battles for this, but uh haven't since... Uh, Oh, 2008, I want to say, and whoopsie, I don't need thermal, the only bad thing is the, your teammate bots are really, really bad, um, so you could also do co-op with this online, or even split screen, uh, me and my dad would play this game a lot, that's for sure, uh, I think this is really the game that got my dad into gaming as well, or like first person shooters I'd guess. Um, as well because, I don't know, he's, I don't know, he just liked this game also. I think because of how realistic it seems, um, I don't even remember, oh, I don't remember how to throw grenades. Is it B? Yes it is. Oh, and that was a terrible grenade. Get out of here. Whatever. Um, what else about this game? Uh, as I said, it came out in 2007 or 2008, can't remember. Uh, but that, that was a while ago. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm a little rusty. A little rusty. Alright. Another, another go at this. Get, oh my god. Gonna be a guy right here. Um, the one game that I would like to see a sequel would have to be this game that doesn't have a sequel. Um, it just... Oh, really? Really? 
You're gonna kill me in one bullet. All right, all right. Just gotta take it slow. I forgot how how much health you don't have. You really gotta use your grenades, and you gotta use your teammates more than what I am using right now. Like I can throw a smoke over there, put on thermal, and if my team teammate wasn't dumb, he wouldn't throw it there. But he is dumb, so he did throw it there. Jesus. Yeah, let me see. Uh, um, but yeah. Uh, put in the comments below if you ever played this game or the first one. Uh, personally, I think the first one is better. Um, I did look for a place to download it, but uh, no luck. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I can't remember right now. I don't know. I'm, I might have. I can't. I don't think so, though. I don't know. I found a crack for it, but not a download for it. So, a little unfortunate, but it's alright. This will have to do. Um, as I've said in one of my more recent commentaries about. <laughs> Rage quit. About uh, Calypso Casino. I'm pretty sure they put this map, or that map, back in this one. Uh. Villa, it is one of the harder um, maps for Terrace Hunt, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see, did they put Calypso Casino back in? Come on. No, god dang it. Wait. No, they put that. Ah, I really wish they had that, though. That was such a good map. Oh, actually, let me go look on my computer and see if I am downloading. Yes, I have. I have found... Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas won a download for it. However, uh, it's gonna be a while. It'll probably, probably finish downloading tomorrow, which is no good. So, that's kind of unfortunate. And let me go see if anybody is actually playing uh, this game. I remember they... Pretty sure they don't. Um, funny player match um, let's just do any map just to see how many people are actually playing this game um, I'm gonna guess not too many just because <laughs> this game is quite old unfortunately um, but yeah this is one of my favorite games ooh team deathmatch on Villa Ugh, not very many people let's go play this I'm gonna go play an online match in my next episode.